The following is a special presentation. Seven exciting rounds of our college competition. Judges, is that really? But there can only be one <laughs> winner. I'd say so. Of. I can't believe that was up there. Campus <laughs> feud. Hot! You're gonna get in trouble for that, I think. Oh, I definitely heard you say, Pong! Pong! She said Pong! Pong! Up next. And that's the game! There it is. The Campus Feud Championship. Hey, hey! Leave Becca alone. Maybe she sees you. On BCTV. We're we gonna look right there. Yeah, hey, we can get yeah. close. Well, yeah, you saying? can stay right, stay right next to me, bro. Yeah, we're right here. You are? Right? Yeah, like this? Yeah. It's time for the Campus Feud Championship. Introducing the members of Sigma Du Fraternity, Frank, Derek, Matt, Aaron, and Anthony, ready for action. And introducing the members of Alpha Sigma Phi Fraternity, Nadine, Mike, Larry, Elias, and Tommy. On your marks, let's start the Campus Feud. And here's your host for the Campus Feud Championship, BCTV's Carlo Guadagnino! Welcome back to the feud. It's, uh, it's been a very long tournament. Oh, thank you. I think, I think the way James Brown did this, though, this was after, you know what I mean? I think that's how it works. But I, hey, I appreciate it. Pierce, you're great. Pierce, everybody clap for Pierce. Everybody give him a round of applause. Pierce, 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 Pierce. All right, before we do anything else, we got a couple buckets back here that I got to give away. There's three questions. First one, who knows what year I was born? DeLeo, your hand was first. Come on down. Come on down. Come on, DeLeo. We're burning tape. Who else had their hand up over here? You come here, you come here. Bailey. Yeah. All right, Delio. Were you born in 91? Uh, I was born in 91, September 24th of 91. Yeah. All right, the next question. The next question, and for those of you that don't understand how long I've been here. This is gonna be a very hard question for you. But what year did I come to Bethany College? Because you work with me, so you're out. You're out, because you, you gave somebody else a false name. Put your hand down, Megan Brooks. Back to stage. No. 2010. All right, last question. Who can spell my last name? No? All right. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna see if Mike can do this. Pierce is next. All right, my last name is? G-U-A-D-A-G-A. -G N-I-N-O. Anybody want to take a guess if he was right? No, he's right. That's exactly how you spell it. There's a G and a D. All right. So we know how to play the feud. Everybody got a couple prizes. You're going to get a, you're going to get a flag. You're getting a flag. <laughs> no, that one's for this speed round for this game. Don't forget, at the end of this game, one of these two teams, and we all know what's going to be used, what this is going to be used for. But one of these two teams gets this trophy right here. So uh, draw your own assumptions, but we all know what's going to happen. All right, 
Eric, can I have the uh, sponsors, please? You certainly can, Carlo. It's our championship round, and tonight's show is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings, Wink, and Sports, by Krispy Kreme Donuts, happy all around with the hot donut experience, by Mast Awards, for all your celebration needs, by Papa John's, you know it, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's, by the Crooked Dock, the dock is always rocking. By JD Engraving, your one-stop gift shop. By Jimmy John's, it's freaky fast delivery, folks. By Chick-fil-A, the cows know it, eat more chicken. By Kroger, a supermarket close to home. By the Bethany College Bookstore, for all your academic wants and much more. And of course, none of this would be possible without the tireless efforts of the folks at the Bethany College Broadcasting Network, including BCTV Channel 14 and the BBN Online for Bethany College. That's it. Take it away, Carlo. Please show me the bracket so I can explain to everybody how we got to this point. How the heck did you guys get here? Like, really, I have no idea how you got here. Damn, I understand. Like, but you guys, I have no clue how you got here. I mean, it's... I know how, I think. Let's take a look at the big board. Uh, Sigma Nu beat the RAs in the semifinal. Alpha Sig beat Delt in the semifinal. At the end of this, one champion will be crowned and everybody else will sit here and say, why was I here for six and a half hours? <laughs> it's okay, because we, were all, we all did it together. And you know who else did it with us? Lexi Naples was in the truck. And well, I didn't say hi, but I didn't say anything about her. So, but let's meet the teams. I'm gonna start over here if that's okay with you guys. Okay. Hi, Frank. My buddy Frank, here we go. Sigma Nu. Frank Selipek, if you don't know me by now, then you probably shouldn't. The sexy librarian, everybody. Whatever. Matt Kirby. D. Will TG. Aaron Squatch. The Will the Beast. And on this side, we have the Alpha Sigma Phi's. Hi, Nadim. You just say my name. Introduce yourself anyways. Nadim. Hi, Mike. Ugly God. Young Stebby on the track. Fountain June. Shout out Alan Derry. You can tell me too, guys. Are you ready, Frank? Are you judges ready? Are you we ready? We are ready, Carlo. Come on, let's play some feud. All right, you know how to play. First team, 300, gets the, uh, basically wins the championship. 100 people were surveyed. The top six answers are on the board. Name the one thing that makes a college student want to quit school. Frank, don't break my bell. Comps. Show me comps. <laughs> All right, Frank, name something that makes a student want to quit college. Elizabeth Hall. <laughs> Show me Elizabeth Hall. <laughs> All right, well, relax. I'm coming over here, Larry. You know how you've been, you've been on, I'm going to read it to you. Captain Underpants, relax. <laughs> name one thing that makes a college quit school. Hard class. Show me hard classes. Ants, hold on. You got two answers. Name the one thing that makes a college student want to quit school. Student loans, having to pay them back. Show me student loans. Play. Name the one thing that makes a college student want to quit. Three seconds. Food. Show me food. <laughs> one strike on the board, Stebbins. Name the one thing that makes a college student want to quit school. Trouble with other students. Trouble with other students. I, I would have said having my dean, but that's just me. Tommy, name one thing that makes a college student want to quit his well, want to quit school. They're lazy. 
Show me they're lazy. All right, Frank. Team, big 19 points up on the board here. Name the one thing that makes a college student want to want to quit school. Finals. Show me finals. 19 points over to the Alpha 6. Let's see number 6. Number 6. Number 5. Number four. Num number two. Number one. I need two more people. Hundred people were surveyed. The top four answers are on the board. Name a difficult work study job on campus. Uh, B and G, like physical plant, physical work. labor, physical work. B and G, building and grounds, cutting we grass. Need clarification on what exactly, Carlo? Like physical labor, anything that's like labor. Like, what do you mean? It cannot be anything. Pick a target. <laughs> like what kind of physical labor? Being he said. Landscaping. Play. Larry, name a difficult work study job on campus. Serving food. Food server. Name a difficult work study job on campus, Stebbins. Giving tours. Tour guide. Show me. Guide. No, Stebbins. No, no, no. Name a difficult work study job. Tutoring. Being a tutor. <laughs> Two strikes on the board. Sigma Nu, you got a chance to steal. Name a difficult work study job on campus. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Name a difficult work study job on campus for a chance to sweep the board. Financial aid. Working in financial aid. <laughs> chance to steal. Points. What do you got for me, Frank? Shovel in the snow in the winter. Shovel in the snow in the winter. They did say be specific. 100 points over there to Sigma Nu. I need two more players. That's you, Larry. All right. Round three. 100 people surveyed. The top seven answers are on the board. Name a college sport that does not use a jersey. And then go to D-Will. Track and field. Track and field. There's two other answers. Hold on, D-Will. Hold on. Swimming. Show me swimming. Because he, he had the, he, yeah, he gets, a, he gets a chance because you weren't number one. But, all right. What are we looking for here? A sport that doesn't wear a jersey. Golf. Golf. Show me golf. Sport that doesn't wear a jersey, Tom. Uh, horseback riding equestrian. Equestrians, horse riders. <laughs> Name a college sport that does not use a jersey. Cross country. Cross country. <laughs> Ready? College sport that does not wear a jersey. Wrestling. 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 
Name a college sport that doesn't wear a jersey. Tennis. Show me tennis. <laughs> one left on the board, one strike. Stebbins, name a college sport that does not use a jersey. Volleyball. Show me volleyball. It's two strikes. Sigma Nu, 92 points on the board, chance to steal. I'm not going anywhere. There's one question left, or one answer left. Name a college sport that does not use a jersey. Three seconds, Tom. Name a college sport that does not use a jersey. Water polo. Show me water polo. That was a good answer, though. 96 over here, which makes this. Why, 92. 92 and 19. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. It's been too long. Huh? What's number five? Who's boxing in college? to 100. Round four questions or the answers are worth double the points. A hundred people were surveyed. The top six answers are on the board. Name a roll, rule in your class that no one can stand. No cell phones. Show me no cell phones. All right, just wait. No talking. No talking. <laughs> Pass or play. Oh my, way down here, huh? The will to beast. Name a rule in your class that no one can stand. Wearing hats in class. No wearing hats in class. Name a rule in class that no one can stand. No food in class. No food in class. <laughs> Same thing, rule in the class that no one can stand. Uh, required materials. Required materials. <laughs> Two X's over there and a chance to steal. 84 big points on the board. D will, name, name a rule in your class that no one can stand. Attendance policy. Attendance policy. <laughs> Two strikes. Name a rule in your class that no one can stand. Can't leave. You can't leave. All right, Nadim. Name a rule in your class that no one can stand. No late work. No late work. <laughs> 116 points over here, making it 216 to, to 111. Let's see number six. <laughs> number one. For clarification from a professor, there's a difference between phone calls and texting. Rounds in the, the points in this round are doubled. 100 points, 100 people surveyed. The top six answers on the board. Name a reason that a student skips class. Exam, they got an exam that day. Show me exam. So we know why Tom's been here as long as he has. To sleep in. To sleep in.
Nadeem, name a reason that one would skip class. You're sick. You're sick! I swear I don't have the answers. Look, that's all I have. Name a reason that a student skips class. You didn't finish your homework. You didn't finish your homework. Name a reason that a student skips class. You're gonna have your lady friend over for some Netflix and chill. <laughs> your lady friend is over for Netflix and chill. <laughs> Name a reason that a student skips class. You don't get along with the professor. You don't get along with the professor. <laughs> Name a reason. Trust me, Derek, I know. <laughs> Name a reason that a student would skip class. This is becoming very personal. You're hungover. You're hungover! All right, Nadeem, name a reason that a student might skip class. You have a game. Sports. You have a game or sports. <laughs> 20 points over that way. Let me see number six. Number four. Number three. Number two. Number one. to 111, I believe. It's you, Nadine. Oh, please, there you go. All right. The points in this round are tripled. 100 people were surveyed. Top six answers are on the board. I would advise both of you to let me read the question and don't break my podium. <laughs> After returning from break, name the one luxury you're looking for when you go home. A shower that actually works well. <laughs> works well! Nadim, Nadim, one thing you're looking forward to when you go home. Say mama's cooking. Home cooking! Pass or play? After returning from break, after returning from a break from college, name one luxury that you're looking forward to having at home. Family. Family! <laughs> After returning from break from college, name the one luxury you're looking forward to. Bed. Your own bed. Your, your own bed, there it is. After returning from a break from college, name one you're looking forward to having. Free time. Free time. <laughs> After returning from college, name one luxury you're looking forward to having, Tom. Friends. Friends. <laughs> All right, Sigma who has a chance to steal for the game. After returning from break, name the one luxury you're looking forward to having. Your sweetheart at home. Your significant other. 153 this way. Oh, 
Now it's triple the points that are on the board. Let me see number six. Number five. Number one. One hand behind your back. One hand behind your back. No, no, no. Use this one. One hand behind your back. Just yeah, whatever you're more comfortable. Points are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top six answers on the board. Other than nighttime, when does a college student typically find time to sleep? In between class. In between class. You ever better? Honestly, during class. During class. <laughs> Other than at nighttime, do you will? When does a college student typically find time to sleep? Morning. In the morning. Other than at nighttime, when does a college student typically find time to sleep? After class. After class. <laughs> Other than nighttime, when does a college student typically find time to sleep? All the time. All the time. <laughs> Other than at nighttime, when does a college student find time to sleep when you're supposed to be doing homework when you're supposed to be doing homework <laughs> two strikes alpha sig you have a chance to steal other than at nighttime when does a college student typically find time to sleep three seconds evening in the evening <laughs> Alpha Sig with a chance to steal. This is for the game. <laughs> Other than nighttime, when does a college student typically find time to sleep? I'm telling you. Say it. Say it. On the weekend. Show me weekend! Alpha Sigma Phi with the win. Sigma Nu. That was a great game, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I need two people. I need two of you Alpha Sigs. Two of you. Two of you for the speed round. And while they're getting ready, we're, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. So who do you think you are? Walk through these gates and you'll find out. It'll take, oh, four years. Four years of rigorous academics, of grand tradition, citizenship, of making friends for life, and let's not forget, having fun. While you're doing all this, we have a job too, to ensure your success. And make no mistake, we're good at it. Welcome to Bethany, a small college of national distinction. We believe in tradition. You'll walk through the Ogilvy Gates only twice, as a freshman and as a graduate. You'll sign our book of matriculation on your first day. Greek life is as old as we are. As for the campus, you'll see the history of it all in the architecture. And here's something else you might notice. It's beautiful here. All 1,300 acres. Go explore and be inspired. Once again, welcome to Bethany. We believe in liberal arts. We do it our way simply because we've been so very successful. Employers want our grads. So do graduate schools. 98% of our grads get good jobs or into graduate school within a year. That's awesome. 
Nearly 100% of our pre-med students get into medical school. That's off the charts. But whatever your major, you will learn to become a leader, a critical thinker, and a problem solver. And that's what the real world is looking for. Through the years, we purposely kept our enrollment small to guarantee each and every one of you personal attention. A 13 to 1 student-faculty ratio. As for our faculty, they will not only be your teachers, but your confidants, friends, and mentors. They come from all over the world, but they do have one thing in common. A passion to see you succeed. As for you athletes, we are the Bison, Division Three with a vengeance. You can tell by the hardware behind our glass cases and the banners hanging from the rafters. We believe in competition, and whether you play one of our 22 varsity sports on our numerous intramural teams or the equestrian club team, it would be very Bithynian of you to leave it all on the field. Actors, musicians, singers, painters, sculptors, you've come to the right place. We have terrific performing and visual arts programs and an accomplished faculty you'll truly relate to. So if you're dying to get to the next level, know that we're dying to get you there. So four years from now, we'll be asking you the same question. Who do you think you are? And when you walk through those gates for the last time, you'll know. Simply put, you are what you think. That's huge. And you're welcome. Bethany, a small college of national distinction. We're back for the speed round. Welcome back to Campus Feud. First off, Mike, uh, on behalf of the, everybody at Campus Feud, here you go. You guys officially have that now. So you get, we're going to have probably have our names put over there. Oh, your name, sorry. Your name. Your name. But uh, we want to do some special thanks. Thank you to the judges up top. I know you guys got, got yelled at a lot. Thank you to Becca for getting yelled at through the entire thing. Uh, Darian and Alan. It's just always a pleasure to have you guys in the building, so we want to thank you. Everybody in the truck, doing the, uh, the camera people, all the contestants. No, really, really um, but other than that, just everybody, all the sponsors for helping put this on. Uh, well, let's get into the championship speed round and see if we can win this last bucket. All right, five. He's going to have 20 seconds. If he hits a right answer, this is what he's going to hear. Gets a wrong answer, this is what he's going to hear. But uh, if you're ready for the speed round, as soon as I read the last, uh, the first question, the clock will start. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go. Turn the lights off. Let's go. Name something you do when you have an 8 a.m. class. Set an alarm. Name something in your dorm room that your roommate uses but does not replace. Food. Name something about their job that a college professor might brag about. Their degree. You discover a boot on your car. Name an excuse you can give to campus security. Pass. When, when does your typical college student do their laundry? At night. You discover a boot on your car. Name an excuse you can give to campus security. There was no custom. All right, let's turn this way. I think you did all right now, Mike. You, know, you, you did well the last time you guys were on the show, and the Dean kind of, he really, he really hurt you. He really hurt you a little bit. Name something you do when you have an 8 a.m. class. You said, set an alarm. Survey said, that's the number one answer. Name something in your do dorm room that your roommate uses but doesn't place. You said, food. Survey says, the number one answer. Name, name something about their job that a college professor might brag about. You said, their degrees. Survey said, hundred and nineteen points out of three questions. You discover a boot on your car, name an excuse you give to campus security. You said, nowhere else to park. Survey said, yeah, 
When does your typical college student do their laundry? Mike said, at night, survey said. All right, send me Nadim, turn the lights on. One forty-four. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. We're going to have 25 seconds on the clock. If you duplicate an answer, you're going to hear this sound. You may have to give me another answer. You ready to go? Yeah. Clock will start when I read the first question. Lights. <laughs> Name something you do when you have an 8 a.m. class. Go to bed early. Name something in your dorm room that your roommate uses but does not replace. Name something in your dorm room that your roommate uses but does not replace. Name something about their job that a college professor might brag about. The amount of money they make. You discover, you discover a boot on your car. Name an excuse you give campus security. I'm alumni. <laughs> when does your typical college student do their laundry? Weekends. On the weekends. Name something about, oh, name something in your dorm room that your roommate uses but does not replace. Three seconds. Dishes. Dishes. Let's turn around here. You got anybody you want to say hello to, Nadim? I don't have anybody. What What happened to your shirt? Next day, you were just you too. You were that pumped. Yeah, I don't remember it happening, but it happened. He doesn't remember it happening. Let's remind everybody of Mike's answers. Name something you do when you have an 8 a.m. class. Nadim said, go to bed early. Survey said, 11. Name something in your dorm room that your roommate uses but does not replace. Nadim said, dishes. Survey said, Name something about their job that a college professor might brag about. Nadim said, it's all about those paychecks. Survey said, so apparently nobody cares about money. That's a lie. <laughs> you discover a boot on your car. Name an excuse you give to campus security. Nadim said, I'm an all I mean alumni. Survey said, The number one answer for that one was told it was okay. When does your typical college student do their laundry? Nadim said, on the weekends. Survey said. Number one answer was once a month. So lights please, can we get those lights up? Before we end this, obviously there's two things of ramen back here. So we're gonna give those away. Who wants ramen? Put your hand up. One of you gets it down here, come here. Give us to Darian when he comes down. Or not. All right, how many hours were we here today? No. No. Come here. There you go. Thank you for everybody for tuning in. Alpha Sigma Phi, congratulations on winning. And see you again next time, folks.